Well, we're live. Welcome to another Nick Grimshaw Live. And I'm really excited today because I have a really big insight to share with you that came, comes from a quote that I saw earlier this week. And um, I, I'm going to talk about that. I had to come up with a title. So I came up with this um, mind diet problem. And um, um, I just wanted something that would like maybe stoke your curiosity a bit, maybe encourage you to come to the to the live. And the reason I, I want to talk about this is because when I heard this quote, it suddenly made sense why we struggle with our personal and spiritual growth. What is it that holds us back from really making progress towards that life of that we're dreaming of? What is that impetus? So what is holding us back? And when I saw this quote, I went, ah, aha. So, um, and then what is the solution? to this mind diet problem. So we're going to come back to that in a minute. So if this is the first time you're here live, I want to thank you for showing up to our live and um, welcome you here. And take a moment now if if what I talked about in the in the opening, the the thing that is holding us back and, and what that is and it's something really really surprising um and if that sounds like something that your friends or family might be interested in please share this live out so and invite them to this live if you do share please um write in the comment section that you shared so i can see who shared Hopefully you have your shared set on public so that I will be able to see that um, in the future. So just share out and let people know and invite them to the live. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Nick Grimshaw. And I teach people like you seeking transformation, how to use the tools of uh, gratitude, affirmation, mindfulness, and meditation to achieve the life of your dreams. And we do that using practices and strategies that help you get there. Now, what I want to um, tell you right now is that I have a freebie coming up at the end, so pay attention um, today. And I have a freebie to give you that has uh, a lot of information for you and we'll talk about that as we go in and if you are watching this on a replay i really want to welcome you here and thank you for showing up and to let you know that i am going to come back into this broadcast and look at your questions so if you have questions watching this in the replay please put them in the comment section. I will come back and I will answer your questions. That is my commitment to you. Okay, so what we're going to, to do is, I want you to think about what the first thing, what the first thing happens when you go on a diet. What's the first thing you start thinking of? Right? What are you thinking of? You're thinking of the donuts you can't have, the cookies you can't have, the chocolate cake, the ice cream. You're thinking about all the things that you have to give up. And to do that Joe Dispenza thing again, where your attention goes, your energy flows. So the moment we focus on all the negative things around going on a diet, that's where all our attention goes and all our energy, and then what happens is now we're living in the past. We're, we're trapped in that cycle that we've been in for quite a while. We've, we've worn neural pathways in our mind. We continue to eat the things we know we shouldn't eat and so on. We're caught into that vicious cycle. And, and we're, 
we're trying to break out. And so we're going to go on a diet, but we're focused on what we're going to lose. And that brings up a story. First of all, when I was, I remember sitting in the, in my doctor's office, just after I being diagnosed with type two diabetes, and he's sitting there and he's saying, Nick, you can no longer eat potatoes. You can't have pasta. You can't have bread. Oh my God, I have to let go of bread. You can't have cookies. You can't eat sweets and candies and chocolate. You have to give that all up. I'm going to give you a special diet that you can go on. And I'm stuck back at, I'm in shock. I'm basically in shock. I, there are little tears coming in my eyes because I remember him tapping me on the leg and saying, it's really not that bad, Nick. It's really not that bad. But all I could think of was that there was a, like, I love tea and cookies. And that was out of the question. I, I couldn't have teas and cookies. And if you're, you're thinking about that and you're going, oh, so what a big deal. Like, I'm English and having tea with cookies is a big deal, right? So I'm automatically focused on what I'm going to lose. And that brings up the quote. And I'm going to read it to you, so make sure I get it right. You're only scared because you can measure what you will lose. You can't see what you will gain. Call Casey. So, there it is. Let's, in a nutshell, we can measure and see and feel and worry about what we are going to lose. But because the benefit or the gain is in the future, we can't see it. We are literally blind to what we're going to gain. And therein lies our struggle when we have to give, when we're seeking to give something up, when we're seeking to move our mindset from negativity to positivity, we can measure, we know how much we're negative. Um, and uh, Jay Shetty talks about this, and I used it in a quote in my newsletter this week, is that you're giving up this negativity, and now you go, what am I replacing it with? And there are moments when you have that awkward silence because now you don't have all this negativity to blab about you can't go on and on about your story about how your boss mistreats you and it's the reason why you haven't got a raise and why you haven't been promoted and why your life's a total disaster and blah 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 right that's gone your story's gone right but you can't see in that moment you're going what am i going to talk about you can't see what the change will bring, what you're going to gain from that. So we're asked to do a lot. When we start our spiritual and personal journeys, we're asking a lot of ourselves because we're asking to let go and release all our stories. And you go, okay, if I don't have this story, what am I talking about, right? And so, like, I think back on my journey, my spiritual journey, well, started really early, but it went in fits and starts. And I would say the beginning, I can really measure the beginning of my spiritual journey around 2006, when I had this really big insight into my own unlimited potential and what that meant. And... So, in that journey, if you told me, if you had explained to me how I would be feeling and how I would be living and where I would be living right now in this moment, uh, number one, I probably wouldn't have believed you. And uh, number two, it would have helped visualize where I wanted to end up. Right? So there's the key, I just mentioned it, to what happens 
when we realize, when we take this quote to heart and realize part of our struggle is that we can measure one thing, but not the other. And so, you know, like somebody says, give me $50 and I'll, I'll transfer 50 into your account. Well, you can't see that 50, but you can see the 50 you're giving up right so so you get a little leery you get a little hesitant like oh is, is he really going to do the transfer is this a scam blah 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 so the the first antidote if you will to this mind diet problem is awareness and awareness is like pandora's box the moment you open that lid and all that stuff comes out, you can't ever really get it back into the box again. And that is what awareness does. Once you are aware that there is this mind diet problem, you can go, oh, I need to find a way to balance out, to figure out what the gain is that I'm going to get to visualize it, to make it real to me so that that will help me shift and move forward. So there's our first measure of defense, our first tool that we can use to overcome this problem with the mind being able to measure what it's losing, but not what it's gaining. So awareness. The second one is the tool I've been talking about a lot is affirmations. I truly believe that as we work on shifting our mindset from negative to positive, affirmations are the tool designed specifically for you to do that. And uh, I, again, I've included a freebie that uh, gives you, uh, it's called I Am Unlimited. And there are 10 affirmations about being unlimited in the download. So we'll give you the link a little later on. So when you use affirmations, you're now affirming not what you are right now, but what you see yourself as, even though you're using the present tense, because we need to understand, we need to trick our mind into seeing a benefit, into seeing a gain. So um, you may not be feeling the best, you may not be a happy person, you may be struggling with something, you say, I am happy, I am whole, I am well. The reason affirmations are so powerful is because they speak the truth you can't see right at the moment because you are buried under all of your, all the stuff that's happened to you, all the things that have gone on in your life, all the things you've absorbed, um, all the lessons that may have made you shy away, may, uh, may have made you want to build walls around yourself. And it's, again, it's that, that picture of that onion, we're peeling layer after layer. That's what a spiritual journey is all about. We're peeling away those layers. And you look at the onion, at the very center of the onion is you, the true, authentic, spiritual being, that spark of divinity, that's you. And we're not trying to fix anything. And, and people, I, I see, and it always gives me like a, um, lots of uh, subject lines and emails that talk about, oh, you know, fix this problem or fix that problem or, you know, here's how to handle this and so on. And we have to give ourselves an understanding here, an agreement that we're not trying to fix something that's broken. We are trying to rediscover what is actually there. And that's the tagline for my website beautiful summer mornings is helping you discover rediscover your full potential your unlimited potential 
So that's what we're doing when we're using, when we first are aware. Now you are aware. You can't say that you're now not aware of the mind diet problem because we've been talking about it. Affirmations, I've given you 10 to use. I have other freebies that you can certainly request from me um, how to write and use powerful I am affirmations. I'll be glad to send that along to you uh, if you request it. And the third antidote to all of this is a strong visualization of what you are gaining by giving up. And that's what visualization does. It creates a reality for your mind. Something that is so real that the mind can believe it and can see what it's going to gain. When we look into the field of all our possibilities um, as unlimited beings and in a um, quantum universe, there are unlimited potentials for you to reach for, to go, you know, this is how I would like to show up in my life. This is how I would like to live. These are the people I'd like to associate with. Uh, this is the place in the world I would like to live. These are the personal personality traits I would like to live. I would like to live these personality traits. Okay? And I'm sorry I'm live and I can't do anything about the noise, so I pray every day for he's a quiet one doing these, but it doesn't always happen. So what we're doing in this journey, in this wonderful, fabulous, difficult journey, is we now need to convince our mind what we're gaining. So I also have, and you can request this from me too, I, I need to do a little bit of work on it because I haven't refreshed it for a while. It's like two or three years old and I have all kinds of more information to put into it, but it's called writing your ideal scene. And that is to take, and you could just do this, just take a piece of paper and write down how you visualize your perfect day. What would that day look like? And the more vividly you can describe it, the more color you can give it, the more sense of smell, feel, touch, all of your five senses to make it as vividly real as possible, all in the present tense, not in the future. You know, in the future, I would like to be living in a... No, your mind won't buy that. The mind will buy what you know is true right now. And so you're writing down in present tense before the event. As Joe Dispenza talks about, you're creating the possibility before it happens. And the more you practice that and live with that and read that and feel that, the more your mind is going to bleed. And so what happens? The magic happens because at some point your mind goes, oh, I'm losing this, but hey man, look what I'm gaining. I'm going to give up. I'm quite happy to lose that, right? And all of a sudden, things get easy. Well, a relative term. When you're working with spiritual growth, easy is a relative term. Um, so anyway, so, so that's sort of my message to you today. It's, it's like once we identify a situation, we are no longer blind to it. We are aware of it, right? So it's awareness, affirmation, visualization, and finally a strong intention. That is your willpower to see it through. And I can't give you that. It comes from inside of you. The tools we use help you inculcate those things within you. Practicing honestly, daily, reading your affirmations, writing your visualization, 
being grateful, living in a state of gratitude, all of those things come about as you work through the changes that are happening as you realize, as you see, as your mind begins to conceive of what the gain is, then the way becomes a little smoother for you. And I know when I started in 2006, I had no idea how difficult the journey was. And there, there are times when I went, how much longer do I have to do this before I see a breakthrough? But of course, we look at what's not happening. We, we look at our situation and the mind goes to our negatives and we don't see our positives. And I talked about this last week in my Facebook Live. We see things in retrospect when we look back or something happens to us and we react in a certain way and we go, oh, six, six weeks ago I would have acted somewhere different. That's part of our journey. That's why it's important to keep a journal to sort of track what we're doing. But today I just want you to focus on that quote and I'll give it to you again because now we're opening Pandora's box and you can never put this fact away again. You're only scared because you can measure what you will lose. You can't see what you will gain. So if there's somebody there, the, I'll give you the link for the download. And the download is uh, beautiful summer morning, beautifulsummermornings.com slash download three. So if somebody could put that in the uh, comment section, that would be great. Um, and then if uh, not, I can pop in a little later and um, do that. So it's beautifulsummermornings.com slash download three. On that you'll get my download. Now, just one last thing. In that download, at the bottom of the download, I have, at the very bottom of the download, as a matter of fact, I have my visualization tool, my digital visualization tool that I use a lot to help me visualize, how to help me make those affirmations more real. So I put a link to that. If you're interested, go and take a look. I have also, we're still building our, um, our course, our Mindfulness Masterclass, which should be like, I'm thinking, a week out. I'm, I'm finishing a course, and then we'll be able to get that live to you. I'm really excited about that as well, because we have just a ton of awesome content for you in the Masterclass. Okay, so I'm going to end off here. I thank you for watching. Please get the download. Don't wait for anything. Go and download it and read it right away so you can start using it. It's designed so the two middle pages of the freebie you can take out and take with you wherever you want to go. Take them with you so you can read them often. Okay? Thank you for joining me here. I appreciate it to all of you who are seeing this in the replay. Thank you. I love you. It's awesome. Dream big. Live inspired. And you guys will see a link uh, just as this is closing to so that you can mark or bookmark the link to my live so that you'll get notification of the next one coming up.